Hey, it's me Katie. Welcome back to Still Spotlight. As you're probably aware by now, I love to experiment with all things fashion, including color, whether it is something a little more vibrant, even pastels to more muted tones, you name it. Which, side note, I'm actually booked in next month for a personal color analysis and I'm equal parts excited and scared because what if they tell me that everything I've ever loved looks like trash on me? But you know what? I don't even think I'd let it phase me. At this point, I've been styling color for so long. So I thought today I would show you guys some of my personal favorites. And if you're wondering what sparked today's idea, well... We got a delivery. These are from our friends over at Rainbow High. You guys may have seen a previous video I did with them. I'm such a big fan of their dolls, both the Rainbow and Shadow High series. Such cool concepts with a really heavy focus on the fashion and the attention to detail is just insane. But you guys will see, we need to unbox these. So what we have here are the six new dolls from the latest Shadow High range, all of which expressing their personalities through their individual styles. Hello literally the purpose of this entire channel. I believe previously with Shadow High they've gone for more of a grayscale approach, whereas this time the approach was for the collection to expand deeper into the shadows of the other side of the rainbow, which I just thought was a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. The colors are already looking stunning. The gorgeous mint from Zoe Electra. This purple, which I can only describe as just being rich looking. And for my more neutral babies, we have Rex McQueen rocking an all black fit. I'm pretty sure all of these students have a fashion design for Focus, but he literally looks like he could be a top model. Oh, I'm pretty sure if you've been keeping up with Rainbow Vision on their YouTube channel, then Glitch will be familiar. And some more of my favorite colors, pink and purple. Also, can we just take a moment for the packaging? I love that they decided to go with this more sketched sort of image, very reminiscent of a designer's sketchbook, totally on theme. So obviously we're gonna get to know the characters a little bit better and then take inspo from some of our favorite color palettes. But because the motto is of course, like your true colors shine. I also want to apply some of our own color theory and see what we can come up with ourselves too. The amazing thing about using color is that you can actually use it to evoke certain emotions or portray certain themes. We see this all the time in media and marketing to the point where certain color combinations you instantly associate with particular brands or characters. A really big trend we've been seeing lately is that cyberspace aesthetic. Think very Y2K retro futurism. And a lot of the time the sort of color palette associated with this features a lot of cool tones, blues, greens, mints, silvers with a really crisp white. And Shadow High have given us the perfect example with Zoe Electra because even just at first glance without reading her description, I felt like I already knew what her personality would be. She has that high tech cyber influence in her design. I mean, come on, look at how these shoes are decorated. Her makeup is so mesmerizing and we can kind of see that space influence come back into things because it almost feels alien-like, which fun fact she is actually wearing Novi Stars merch which I thought was so cool because they were actually an alien themed doll. Okay sadly I don't have a lot of mint in my wardrobe to work with because I definitely would have preferred some sort of like textured PVC pleather sort of moment again just to add to the overall concept but that's okay that just means we need to amp it up with the accessories. She has a puffer jacket but I already know I'm not gonna like this on me every time I just feel like an inflated marshmallow so instead we're going with something a little more sleek I wish we could have just transferred that puffiness to the legs instead with either some moon boots or something similar to the boot covers I have in silver so in the end I was able to convert the puffer sort of aesthetic into the backpack which again goes back to that kind of cyber y2k aesthetic these silver sunglasses also lean into that for me but if you had some sort of like tech accessories as well i think that would really push it over the top like i remember last year seeing someone use ipod nanos as hair clips i've been obsessed and ever since at the thrift store i'm searching but no luck yet. The only thing is, I'm thinking the buttons kind of throw off the vibe a little bit, so maybe if I undid them and lay it on this silver skirt underneath. It was just a passing thought, so I don't have high hopes for this to actually be successful. I mean, there certainly is a lot going on, but there's something about the silver that really just brings you into that theme. 
So one of the colors that WGSN forecasted for 2023 is digital lavender, which is said to represent stability, digital serenity, and escapism. Two of our Shadow High girlies have included a similar color in their looks, but they have taken the styling in very different directions. Diamante has a very cool, effortless street style aesthetic. Instantly, she was giving me big Rihanna vibes, which when taking a closer look at her character description made a lot of sense because of course, like all of these dolls, they have a fashion design focus but her other big interest is in music, putting together hours long playlists for her friends. Am I the only weird person who doesn't make themed playlists? I literally have a K-pop playlist that's hours and hours long, but there's no rhyme or reason to it. Like, you are gonna get whiplash. But back to Diamonte's look, because I'm pretty sure it is a nod to what Rihanna wore to Coachella back in 2017. It was a huge fashion moment at the time with the bedazzled bodysuit. They've executed the details really well, even down to the accessory inclusions. I mean, hello, look at these sunglasses. Monique Verbena shares a similar color palette, but almost inversed with the darker purple being the more predominant color and then using the white and holographics as just an accent. Just taking into consideration my personal style, I'm definitely resonating more with Monique. She's definitely more on the ultra feminine side of things, a lover of ruffles and frills. I really appreciate the effort of doing all the extra layers in this dress. It just really helps it pop with all of that volume. And probably the best hair I've ever seen on a doll. So this is the dress for wife with for Monique. Very pretty but not as detailed and voluminous as hers. So I was thinking about also adding on this little purple tutu. Underneath gives it that kind of cupcake effect. I'm not sure it's necessarily working layered over the top either though but perhaps we could try pinning it so we get a little bit of both. I knew we were destined for good things the moment I put this bedazzled belt on but honestly it's still crazy to me that how just a few extra accessories can completely transform the look. I legit think feel like a princess from some faraway fairyland right now and I do think gathering up the dress like this really made the look and especially considering her name is actually inspired by a flower because it almost resembles petals now. Next up we have Carla Choupette whose aesthetic is giving me very Chanel ambassador, could totally see her, with Miss Jenny Kim which makes a lot of sense. Not only is she from Paris but even just looking at her name she seems to be somewhat inspired by the late Karl Lagerfeld whose cat's name was famously Choupette. To me she has a bit more of a preppy style which is always up my alley and I love that in her designer point of view she mentions that she doesn't believe in following gender norms and finds a lot of inspo in menswear fashion magazines. Since Carla's look is already something I would typically wear I am sticking to a very similar outfit formula but I did have to do a bit of a switcheroo on the color placement in order to work with what I've already got in my wardrobe. With accessories it's even cuter if I do say so myself. How much would you guys judge me if I said I am fighting the urge to add a beret though. I know, it's too on the nose, but I really want to. If you're one of the lucky ones who got Blackpink tickets for the Australian tour, first of all, I envy you. Second of all, I think this would be a really cute outfit option, especially if you wanted to take Blackpink quite literal. And actually when it comes to styling these soft pastel sort of tones, a lot of the time I instinctively want to pair them with other light tones and whites rather than going for such a heavy contrast with the black, but for some reason I always make baby pink the exception. But this tie has just been sitting there staring at me and it's convincing me I need to try and introduce another pastel color to the look. It also gives me a chance to sell these new shoes that I finally caved and purchased. They are seriously chunky, especially from the bird's eye view. They are so exaggeratedly wide that you really do feel like a cartoon character. But you guys know I love feeling like a character when I'm getting dressed, but I saw a really interesting video on it recently. I'll try and find it and link it for you about how hyper reality is kind of getting this flip side where people actually want to start wearing cartoonish sort of items hence the Astro Boy boots we've been seeing recently. But regardless of whether or not this does end up becoming a trend, I think I'm always going to continue just to dress like a character from another fantasy land. Any chance to escape reality and I'm taking it. I mean, personally, I would much rather look like a cute doll than look like I belong to this world. Probably one of the more anticipated dolls from this collection because like I mentioned earlier, she has actually already been featured on Rainbow Vision TV was Raina Glitch Crown. And she features a darker, almost midnight sort of color 
color palette, but she still brings some sparkle with the sequins. And also something that I can't recall seeing before, but this static glitch mode effect underlayer, which again, if you're familiar with their content on YouTube, the Shadow High logo kind of has this glitch effect to it. So I think that's such a cool touch. And on her phone screen, she's actually chatting with Rex McQueen. He's such a handsome doll. And in the all black outfit, it is giving very backstage model of Judy. Of course, the puffer jacket is kind of the standout piece, but my personal favorites have to be these boots. We were talking earlier about how particular color palettes are able to convey certain messages, but in this sort of case where you've stripped all the color away, it doesn't mean that you're boxed into only one particular theme. Instead, you kind of have to let the textures do the talking. I'm starting super basic with just pants and tank top. The goal is to have a similar sort of energy as Rex did, which I feel like has somewhat tech influences to it but obviously i want to put my own spin on it still so hence the skirt over pants combo coming out once again it's already given so much more i want to do a chunky shoe so i'm going for my old faithfuls these are Windsor Smith platform sneakers. You guys have been seeing these in my videos since 2018 and I am sad to report they are finally starting to fall apart inside and they don't actually sell these anymore. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to save up for a pair of new rocks though. Again, puffers just aren't really my thing. So we have this cool vest that almost has like this shell sort of exterior and this does actually have double zips as well, which makes it even better. So we end up with something like this, which I think is so cool, almost a little bit too cool for my own personal style that I wouldn't really feel confident in it, but totally something I could see in Rex McQueen's wardrobe, potentially also something I could see Taeyong from NCT rocking. What do we think? I love this little unique spectrum of the rainbow that we're able to create when we line up this range of Shadow High dolls, but I am in the mood to still play around with some other color combos and see what we can come up with. If you're someone who has this sort of beige cream brown type of neutral wardrobe and are looking to inject just a little bit of color, I think the easiest option is to choose from the warm colors and in a very muted sort of shade. Green is probably the easiest of all because it still has a very natural coloring to it, especially if you go for an army green like this. Obviously, this still feels super, super neutral. So I'm going to add another warm color to the mix with this little orange bolero. And I think this is really cute as is if you're going for something super casual. But I also want to amp up the accessories just to show you that even if you're sticking to a more muted color palette, you can still be really loud with your accessories. I'm adding this teddy bear bag as well as a crochet pocket hat with headphones teamed over the top. And despite serving absolutely no purpose in this outfit, I'm also adding this watercolored tie. I'm sure a lot of you probably actually prefer the before but for me as a fruits magazine enthusiast i am always going to opt for the nonsensical accessories and for some reason i feel like people often forget that you can be a maximalist without having to wear every color of the rainbow on your body at once and you know what just because i think that orange is a very underutilized underappreciated color i thought i'd give you a little bonus outfit it is actually opposite blue on the color wheel of course making them complementary colors and as nice as these colors look together with the saturation turned all the way up for a more wearable option you could just substitute your something blue for denim which is obviously the route I decided to go down but now we're gonna switch out the orange and try styling a primary colors fit for me personally I feel like I love teaming blue and red together but whenever I have to introduce the third color that's when it becomes a challenge actually just yellow in general is really tricky to style which is kind of ironic because my favorite rainbow high doll is actually Delilah who is this beautiful baby yellow shade so I want to work with this set that's already ticking off two of the colors. We've got the baby blue gingham as the background and then the red cherries and trim. I really like that one's more dominant and the other one's more of a pastel because sometimes with the primary colors, if all of them are at the same saturation, I feel like they're kind of competing against each other. So I'm going to stick with that thought process and opt for a very pale yellow. That way it's just the red that is the accent color. And since the set is giving very picnic sort of vibes, I wanted to continue that theme on with the accessories too. So I've got the frilly socks with the Mary Janes and the cute little red ribbons in my hair. I think this might quite possibly be the cutest outfit I own and I love that it gives off the summer vibes without being too basic and if I really wanted to play up that cheesy summer festival sort of vibes then I also have the red heart sunglasses to finish it off. I wanted to do a look that just paired more cool tones together and I was very tempted just to add for repeat this one from my Instagram but I've decided against it and instead I want to base the look around this gorgeous sky blue over 
of a size jersey. Baby pink definitely wasn't what I was originally envisioning. I was thinking more of a purpley sort of tone to match in with this little puffer vest, but I think it still works in the end. I'm well aware that all of these pieces are a bit of a mismatch, but that's actually my favorite way I've been seeing this jersey trend styled recently. So I wanted to try it out myself and definitely feel like a randomized character. I'm still not sure about the shade of these pants. It could just be a return of my own issue of styling three colors at once. Perhaps it would have been better just to opt for white. And switching it over to a maxi skirt as well also kind of reminds me of the Copenhagen Fashion Week soundbite on TikTok at the moment, but we could also play it a bit more safe and stick with a dark dark wash denim. I think this does a better job at balancing out the darker tones at the best so it doesn't stand out so much. So although I'm apparently not very good at tricolor combos, I do still love myself a good old full-on multicolor explosion. I find the easiest way to go about that is to find a particular piece that has pretty much already done the hard work for you, which is why I'm bringing back the dress I was wearing earlier. There's quite a few colors going on, but the most dominant combos are the pink and green and pink and red, two of my all-time favorites. I know I was wearing it with the red tights before but I really wanted to incorporate this multicolored scarf and then it just felt like there was too much going on. For the most part I wanted to just keep that color explosion in the center hence why all of the other accessories are just pink or red. But to match the frilly white socks I had to break out the overly decorated headphones. The almost decora kid core sort of theme of them definitely matches in with the J fashion influence from the rest of the outfit and there's just something about the silhouette of this dress that truly makes you feel like a living doll so I feel like this is the perfect one to end on we have included quite literally the rainbow all in one but let me know which color combos you like to style the best and also which shadow high doll you resonated with the most i'm so in love with this latest shadow high collection and i really hope you guys enjoyed it too all of the info and links will be down below in the description box so be sure to check it out and hopefully i'll see you really really soon